Next me, I'm back. Papa. 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 Papa is me, your daughter, Amuche. My daughter. Oh, my precious daughter. You're back. Papa, what is the problem? What is it with this constant bad dreams? No. They are not bad dreams. They are not. Papa, I don't understand. What is he called? The first day you had this bad dream was the first day you got blind. Ever since then, if you're not fighting, I don't understand it. Make it make sense to me, Papa. What is the problem? My daughter, you will not understand. Papa, but did Dibia said you're suffering from your chi? That your chi is behind this calamity. Yes. No offense is chi. I go scot free. Papa, please talk to me. If anything goes wrong today, Papa, if you die, nobody will bury you. There will be no funeral rites for you. Think about how people will see this family. Think about what people are going to say about this family. Pico, I know no one is a saint. What have you done? Confess now and bring yourself out of this misery. My daughter, you will not understand. Papa, make, you will not. make me understand. Did Dibia said you offended your chi? What did you do? My daughter, you not understand. You not understand. Okay, since you don't want to tell me what you did wrong, if anything happens to you, Papa, I will kill myself. Because I will not be alive and, 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 and pass through this pain and shame alone. I will not. No, 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 that, my daughter. You, you, do, you won't do that. Don't do Papa, that. Papa, you know me very well that I don't bluff. You know me. I don't say what I cannot do. Tell me what the problem is, Papa. Let's find a way. No, my daughter. I will tell you. Promise to forgive me, please. I'll forgive you, Papa. Tell me what happened. Everything you know about this situation. My chief is dealing with me for an origin pledge. The real pledge. Run ahead and ask that young man why he's on my path. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but I cannot. What? He's doing for the evil forest. And only a royal order can unseal his lips. Evil forest? Yes, Your Highness. And what could be his crime? I don't know, Your Highness. Stop. Don't mind. And what is your crime? Your Highness. Your Highness, I I broke the tradition, Your Highness. Like, I'm sorry. Every man was supposed to remain inside to conclude your coronation. But I I defaulted. Why? Have you no respect for the custom and tradition of Umuchese? Far from that, Your Highness. My mother was down with high fever and she needed some herbs. So I came out in search of herbs to help her heal. I am sorry, Your Highness. Is there nothing I can do? A royal pardon can undo every judgment, Your Highness. You just need to say the word and remove the pamphlet from his neck. In that case, I will love to mark the beginning of my reign with peace and mercy. You are pardon. Hey. 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 Thank you. I am free. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Igwe kwe me one of whom uchese. May you reign. May you live forever. Igwe, may you reign forever on the throne of your forefathers. Igwe, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey. You can now return home to your sick mother. Hey, Igwe, may the gods bless you. Igwe, no repayment can equal this your grace, mercy. Igwe, may the gods bear me witness. May the Lord of whom you is bear me witness. I pledge today that the royal family will have one of my children at their service forever. He said, Thank you, Igwe. And may your chief bear witness to your pledge today. He said, Igwe, thank you. I am free. Who will tell us I am free? Who will tell us I am free? Hey. My daughter, I even knew my chi will bless me with you as my daughter. Papa, I'm scared. This helmet might be unto death. I'd rather feel this punishment than to cut down my lineage. I'd rather feel this punishment, my daughter. <sighs> Papa, Papa. Mm. I know it's not your fault, but you made the promise out of your own free will. My daughter. No one makes it in life, and the life after death when his or her own chi is bearing witness against the person. This is the problem. Let me bear the consequences. Let me bear it, my daughter. We all know the season we are in. The new maids and guards, both pledged and selected, will arrive on Ore Market Day. Behave yourselves and do your work oddly. And do not break the rank. Some of you will be moved up in rank to make room for the incoming ones. <laughs> Remember, no matter how high your rank is, it cannot be above my whip. I hope I have made myself very clear to you all. Sorry, sorry. But you know how uh, how sensitive Tamna can be. Why will you even whisper while she talks? Does she have ears behind her? How does she even hear the whisper? I don't even hear a word. Ha! Who knows she's a bandit? Shh! <coughs> what if she hears her? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Papa. Oh, who is there? Papa, it's me, Amuchi. Oh, Amuchi? Yes, Papa. So you have made up your mind? Papa, yes. I'm ready to leave. So I'm condemning my only daughter to servanthood. <sighs> Papa, you don't have to worry yourself. You're the same person that taught me that good name is better than riches and precious stone. Hmm. I will do everything within my power to make sure I preserve the name of this family. Hmm. Hmm? My daughter, Papa. may you gain favor on the palace. May anyone you meet in the palace favor you. You see. My daughter, it shall be favored in you all your ramifications in the palace. You see, I've spoken to Mazi Bekwe's son. Uh -huh. He'll be coming from time to time to check on you and help you do some things. Uh -huh. Please, if you need anything, do not hesitate to tell him. Huh? You know, go. My daughter. Papa. I know we'll not be allowed to go hunting in the palace. And please, don't sneak away. It could be dangerous. Papa, you don't have to worry yourself about me. I can take care of myself. Just promise me you'll be fine and safe. Oh? You already know I'm in the palace. If there's anything, just send somebody to come and come. You know, go. My chi will protect you. Yeah. I'll miss you, Papa. I'll miss you. Go with my daughter. Thank she you. She'll be with you. You see? Yeah. Thank you for the prayers, Papa. The gods will favor you, I my see. daughter. My daughter. I can see. I can see. I can see first my beautiful sister. Jesus. My beautiful daughter. Papa, can you see me? I can see. Hey! Jesus! Papa, can you see me? I'll see. Papa, can you see me? Jesus, I don't know. So you can see me. Oh God. I'm sure the gods have decided to favor us now. We have decided to do the right thing. Papa, so you can see me. Papa, wait, what's the color of this my skirt? Who knows the mind of God? It's black now. Jesus, I'm about to give you. Who knows the mind of God? So what is on your mind, my boy? <laughs> I just remembered when the Igwe in council tried to convince you to take a second wife and you insisted that you would be the first king of Umuchieze who would be loyal to one wife. Did you believe me then? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I thought you'd cave in under the pressure. But you've proven to be a man of your word. You're the wife of my youth. I will only have eyes for you until the last day here on earth. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Omo, then. Omo. Mother. Mother. It was a when will you stop following my wife like a handbag? Father, this is urgent. Don't mind your father. He's just jealous. What is it? Mother, the gifts I asked to be selected as tribute to Adesa's father are not in order. They are whack and very unpleasant to the eyes. What is it so you cannot make selection for your father-in-law to be without the help of my wife? Father, <laughs> no one does it better than my mother. Igwe, you know these things have to be done just right. Hmm? <laughs> Let me get to it. 
And this cup needs cleaning before your next meeting. I'll handle it. Who is it? Stop stressing my wife. I did not marry her for you. Father, I'll stop stressing my mother when my wife arrives. Best of time. <clears throat> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Follow me, please. And then the stream is wine and milk. I only find it here. Chimo, your highness. Is there a procession going on? I am not aware of. <laughs> not your highness. Um, the new mates are getting a rotation about the palace. I expect everything to be perfectly done before my lady arrives. Yes, Your Highness. Your Majesty. Oh, mother, thank oh. God you're here. I can't... Here it is. <laughs> mother, what will I do without you? Soon, your wife will arrive. Then you become a big man. Forget all about your mother. <laughs> <laughs> mother, I love my wife. I'll respect her. Just like father respects you. But I promise you, I'll never forget your mother. <laughs> I believe you. And I am proud of the man that you have become. I am so happy your father and I were able to set a good example for you. Mother, you and father's marriage is the envy of the whole community. I hear the tale of your love have traveled to other kingdoms. I wish for same mother. <laughs> the gods will grant you your wish. Your father tells me that the truce is proceeding well. Adeze will be yours soon. I'm beyond excited, mother. And I hope that is why the elders in council have summoned me. I have to go so I don't keep them waiting. Mm. Go ahead, my son. My gallant son, the apple of my eyes, the true son of his father, who stands head and shoulders above every man in this community. The apple of my eyes, the true son of his father. Go and make us proud. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're in there, yeah? The golden plate is for the king, the white one is for the queen, while the silver column is for the prince. Preparation for dinner should commence immediately. Remember, my whip will not spare even the slightest mistake. Please, let me be the one to serve the prince. You want to do what? To serve the prince? No, do you need Tamono's whip to remind you that it will take you years to reach a rank where you'll be worthy to touch the crown prince's meal? I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Now you thank your chief because today is your lucky day. Thank him that you did not even touch that plate. Let's get to the kitchen. Highness. 
Chima, your highness. What are you doing here? You should be sleeping. I'm so sorry to have slept carelessly, your highness. Go back to bed. I almost shot you. No, your highness. I will go to his highness wherever he goes, sharing his punishment for this disobedience. But Chima, why does father expect me to stay indoors until after the wedding? I'm bored. I need some adventure. His Majesty the King only looks out for your best interest. You should consider how it's fair. That's right. Chima, I was going to say this to you. You know you have become more than a friend to me, than a personal guard. Thank you, Highness. But I do not deserve these commendations. All right, go ahead of me and show the coast is clear. We hunt tonight and face father's consequences tomorrow. How dare you attack the palace of Umucheze? Assassin? No, not at all, valiant one. I'm a loyal servant like you. I'm a maid in this palace. A maid carrying so much weapons? I'm sorry, valiant one. It will never happen again. I only want to go hunting out of boredom. A maid servant hunting out of boredom? Who are you and what is your name? <laughs> are you laughing? You and I know you can't do anything. I can see you're shivering. I bet that gun has only shot few squirrels. <laughs> you can't even threaten a girl properly. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? You can't even be the chief guard. You're just a newbie. I'm glad to see you getting your confidence up. Hey, hey! And where do you think you're going? Hunting, like I said. Don't worry. I'll share some of my prey when I return. Why are you just returning? Did you not see her? Who? Oh. Who was it, Your Highness? Hmm. Such audacity. But wait a second. Hunting out of boredom. Do you think my lady would like to explore such adventure with me? Your Highness, she's a princess, soon to be queen, free to do as she pleases. That's right. She has more freedom. Uh, so, Your Highness, the coast is clear, can we? Let the animals contend with a better fighter. Tonight, we obey my father. Yes, You need to rest. No, 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 no. It's my turn to wait on the prince. 
He will miss his lunch if I go take a rest now. Cheta, you can't serve the prince in this state. Can't you assign someone else to do that for you? Eh? Can't you assign someone else? Gini. Eh? Gini me. Nei biawa. You know I'm doing one of a lower rank. I can't do that. Look, we can swap uniforms. Please, just help me, please. Hey, what about Tamu? No, she doesn't have to know. You just keep your head down and act natural. She said that's, that's deceit. I don't like deceiving people. What if we get caught? Okay, that's fine. I, I'll manage. Oh, yes, sorry, don't worry. I'll do it for you. You will? Yes, I will. Yes. You do so much. Okay, let's go How dare you lay your future hands on the prince? How dare you? Forgive me, your highness. She will be well disciplined. Don't I know you? <sighs> Newbie, right? Newbie? The hunter. You are not the maiden assigned to his highness, are you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's your mission here? My prince, I don't have any ulterior motive. I, I just came to fill in for, for a sick friend. Forgive me, your highness, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pamela. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, your highness. She's a new maiden, one of the pledged maidens that just arrived at the palace. I'm sorry. Is there a punishment for this action? Of course, Your Highness. She and her accomplice will be severely lashed and imprisoned without food if she is lying. Punish her even if she's saying the truth. Her sins could be more than you know. Yes, Your Highness. I think the lashing would be enough. I'd like to start a family with the dungeon less occupied. Yes, Your Highness. You are a disgrace to a royal household. Who is your accomplice? I'm sorry. Speak! It, it, it was... It was... It was, it was who? So you want tonight to make a fool of me? Yeah? I walk myself, I walk myself to the bones to keep this household together. Why you walk to sabotage it? Is it not? You were right. She was not even in her quarters. She was healthy. I walk myself to the bones to keep this royal household together. Why you work together to sabotage it? No. Is it not? This will never happen again. This will never happen again. I promise. Please. Please, please stop following me about Jetta. Stop. Not until I'm sure that you've forgiven me. Listen, I do not want to have anything to do with you. Everybody already sees you as my accomplice. I want that to stop. Not until I am sure you have forgiven me. 
the case speaks for itself. You must really think I'm naive, right? Please, just, just hear me out. What do you want to tell me? I don't want you to tell me anything. Why me? I saw how eager you were to serve the prince the very first time our paths crossed. Really? Just listen to yourself speak. Cheta, for crying out loud, you make me a victim of circumstance. I feel so stupid right now. No, please don't say that. I am the stupid one. I only thought of myself. I am so sorry. Please. Please. <sighs> so tell me, what did you do with the time? Because I'll be a fool to believe you just rested. I snuck out of the palace. Why? To see her. I just, I just needed to bid someone farewell. Oh, a lover. He completed his service time in the palace. I needed to do something immediately ahead. He was leaving. Ow. Oh. Well, I forgive you. Really? Yes. Thank you. See, I just wish I can see my father and bid him farewell for the last time. We all miss our family so much. But duty calls. Let's not get drowned with our emotions. Where? One more panese. Tell me more about this young man. <laughs> that you are even willing to take tango slashes. You didn't bother. Okay. 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 Um, his name is Ikemba. Hey! Ikemba, okay. Ikemba, don't go. Ah, Ikemba! I was going to say thanks for accepting to be my wife. No, my lord. Thank you for asking for my hand.
My name is Prince Iweze. But you can call me anything sweet. Father says, my Lord is my Lord. <laughs> I know. You know, we don't have to stay in separate chambers. You can move in with me. I want to get to know you better. Oh, a dose too heavy for you? No, my lord. It's time for me to perform my wifely duties. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? That, that can wait. I'd like for us to get to know ourselves better. How about that? But Father says I will have to perform my wifely duties. I know. I'll do that for you. A daisy. My love. I promise to love you. I promise to give myself to you. All of me. All of my days. I promise to cherish you. Thank you, my Lord. I promise to fulfill my duties to the kingdom and to the throne as Father taught me. I hope that includes love. <laughs> Morning, my lord. I must get to work before sunrise. What type of work? Come to bed. Come to the love of your life. Oh, Lord. <sighs> no, my lord. Duty calls. Besides, I do not want to smudge my makeup. Hmm. Smudge your makeup. Listen, I I respect your commitment to work, but come to me. I miss you. Come close. You have to understand, okay? Duty calls. Can't duty wait until sunrise? Listen, it's still our honeymoon. Don't forget. Ah. <sighs> the people We'll see it as a sacrifice. The early risers, the market women, they will spread the word and will receive the accolades. Hmm. Accolades? I mean, why do we have to do that when we can genuinely cater for people? I must beg for your understanding, Your Highness. Father says we must not miss any opportunity to receive praises from the people. That's okay. I mean, you don't have to kneel before me. All right. I totally understand. You can proceed. 
Thank you, my lord. She won't accolade when she can genuinely get it. Your Highness, women are fond of ensuring that the household runs smoothly. I won't be surprised if the princess starts giving orders to the maids. Let's hope you're right. If not, where else could she be? My prince, she has occupied your heart. Chima, the truth is, I want to love her the right way. I actually promised to take her on a palace tour, but she keeps sleeping off on her own. My prince, I guess you found a highness. Hey, newbie! You know, it feels good to see you in your rightful place. So when are you paying off your debts? Debts? I see you have forgotten. I'll remember to share my prayer with you when I return. Please forgive me, Your Highness. Uh, my prince, Her Highness just left. <laughs> That didn't just happen. I don't understand what you mean. You don't understand what? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. The Prince of Umuchese just patted your cheeks and said you owed him. Spill him before I scream! Spill what? Everything. What's Everything like what? Now tell you later. Let's go and No, no, no. Tell me now. I got you. Let's no, go and no, no. what? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> The jewelers in Ibeme are really fantastic. <laughs> Mother, father specially ordered this one from overseas. Your father does have good eyes, you know. <laughs> Your mother and her co-wives are so lucky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> father says jewelry accentuates a woman's beauty. <laughs> no truer words have been said. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, what's going on? Our marriage is barely one month, and I'm always looking for my lady. Why is that? <laughs> now you see how your father feels when you lure me away from him. <laughs> Forgive me, mother. I have to take her with me now. Uh, but we're not done sorting out the jewelry. Oh, you also said something about sorting the wardrobe. Exactly. My lady, are you avoiding me? Far from it, my lord. <sighs> Listen, father says one must tend to the royal family just as much as she tends to her lord. Not today, my lady. We're doing something fun. We're feeding the poultry together. Feed the poultry? Yes, ma'am. Have you looked at her manicured hands? <sighs> My lord! That is better suited for the servants. <sighs> Father says 
A royal must not roll in dirt. <sighs> um, Mom, it was supposed to be fun. But it's okay, I'll take my leave. I'll take my leave. Mother, you understand me? It smells <laughs> horrible, just horrible, terrible, in fact. That glass you broke is worth more than ten of you. Please, I, I am really, really sorry, please. I'm sorry. Sorry for your silly self. With that, replace it. You will work double shift to make up for your carelessness. <laughs> and you, what are you still doing here? Go back to your little post. How dare you challenge me? Have you, have you, have you lost it? How dare you? What gave you the audacity? I didn't mean to challenge you. She has apologized. It was a mistake. Whipping her more wouldn't change anything. For your insolent behavior, you will walk her double shift. Now, get out from my presence at once. Get out! You're nothing but a little ink. Fools! Rubbish! She has really suffered in this palace. So. I've really suffered. How can that Tamlo girl open her gutter mouth to tell me that a glass is better than 10 of us? Ten of us. And the worst part of it is that she'll be acting as if she's not a maid simply because she wears different clothes and goes about with weep. You're not related to the royal blood. You're just a maid like us. See, 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 see. I, I don't even care what anybody thinks if I'm new or naive. All I know is that no amount of slaps or weeping will make me to bow before that Tamuna again. It's not possible. I will not. Come. Greetings, Your Highness. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I didn't notice you were here. I'm sorry. Newbie. Tell me, how does one feed a poultry? What? Poultry? Yes, I hear it is best suited for maids, servants. Um, Your Highness, the truth is, anyone can feed poultry. All you need to do is get the feed, spread it before them with an enticing tune. What do you mean, enticing tune? Like... Yes. Like that? Yes, Your Highness. That's all? Yes, Your Highness. Hmm. You sure do know how to get into a lot of trouble, don't you? 
I mean, it's not a pleasant sight to bleed from the lip. So I suggest you stay out of trouble. Thank you, Your Highness. I will. Know your place and stay out of trouble. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Hey, I finally get to spend some time with you. Oh, yeah. my lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my lord. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go take a shower. That can wait. We can do that later. <sighs> but my lord. Right. Father says a lady must prioritize her cleanliness. In that case, I'll join you in the shower room. Is that okay? No, my lord. I have maids for that. Maids? <laughs> Listen, I am your husband, all right? I should be given liberty to join you in the washroom whenever I please without anyone interrupting. I'm afraid my lord does not understand the ways of ladies. <laughs> the ways of ladies, you said? Hey, this is the 21st century, you know? <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? Did I say something? <laughs> hey! What did I say? Did I'm I say something wrong? I'm afraid my lord do not understand me. Oh, listen, I, 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 you probably didn't hear me right. I said, I understand you, my love. I do. And I apologize for making you feel sad. I'm sorry. Is that okay? Okay. You know what? You can go have shower. Okay? I'm not coming with you. I'll just wait for you here. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Would you like to come hunting with me tomorrow? Hunting? Yes, hunting. I can take you around the village. And after hunting, we could visit some elderly people. How about that? My lord, I could use that time to complete some embroidery. Besides, the elderly hardly tells tales of how good others are. I see. Is it right to only visit those people who rain praises on you? Well... Father says it's a waste of time to show kindness to those who will tell no tales of them. Nothing goes for free, my lord. Don't you think the right thing to do as royalties is to serve people? Serve? My lord. That's why we have servants. As royalties, we rule and show kindness to those who will sing our praises. 
That way, our reign will last forever. My Lord. My prince. Um, so do I prepare for the princess also? Sadly not. You see, I've not been able to do the things I look forward to doing with her. My prince, she will adjust. <laughs> I hope so. It seems to me like she's more interested in reciting her father's phrases. Makes me wonder if the man is king or someone who speaks proverbs. It's okay, just add the bow and arrows. Uh, my prince, uh, you know you're not good in archery. There's time for me to learn, Chima. Listen, we leave the guns today, okay? Uh, um, my prince, I am sorry. I'm not that skillful in archery. Mm, there's a maid. A maid? Yes. I is she good? Well, I presume. Just find her. Okay, what's her name? Her name is... She's new. Uh, Your Highness, there are so many maidens in this palace. So we can only differentiate them by their names. True. It's okay. Get the hunting guns. I'll take archery lessons later today. Okay, Your Highness. Do you wish to drive? You can take those out. Careful, careful. Easy, easy, easy. And you have to hurry, okay? There are more things to move out. Careful. Good. <laughs> My lady, is everything okay? Why are your things being moved out? <laughs> My lord. I have decided to move into my own chamber. Without consulting me? What's your reason? <sighs> my lord. Father sent some beautiful, luxurious apparels to me. I mean, I'm talking about the Isidwaba of South Africa, the, the Kente of Ghana, the, the Jalabaya of Egypt. And I'm afraid my lord's closet cannot accommodate them all. Oh, I see. It 
It's a big house. We can convert one of the rooms and move all our belongings there. My lord, I'm afraid I cannot be separated from my belongings. It is not safe. Oh. Is it best to be separated from me? My lord, my lord has his guards to watch over him, he even has his arms and his legs to defend himself in case of an attack. But my belongings have none of these. You're joking, right? So what do I do? Sit in my chamber and you sit in yours? Well, my lord can always come visit when he needs to. You can even summon me to your chamber. I see. Listen, now listen good. I didn't marry you to only warm my bed and pop out children. I married you because I wanted companionship. I married you because I wanted partnership. I married you because I wanted friendship. I wanted a best friend, just like my parents. Well, my lord, father says a lady must. For the love of the gods, can you keep quiet? My lord. <laughs> Oh, what a temper. <laughs> By the gods. Mate! Make sure to keep them in the safe. there mm. I'll soon be there oh. patience my lord
Now I understand what it feels like to wait for someone. Please have a seat. I'm sorry, Your Highness. It is not proper for me to sit. Maid, is there a plan to challenge my authority in this palace today? Certainly not, Your Highness. Mm. If you're given the power to choose what to become, what would that be? I would love to be one of the stars, Your Highness. Why the stars? Do you think they're free and you're not? None of us are free, Your Highness. We are either slaves to our physical masters, emotions, the people we rule, or the gods we serve. Hmm. Brilliant. So tell me, what are the stars slaves to? Time. They shine and retire before sunset. Hmm. So tell me, why become the stars despite the brevity of its glittery? It's because I can still make a change despite the limited time. I can eliminate the parts of the commons and the royals. I think I want to be a star too. Your Highness, is it because of the same reason as mine? Well, that and for the praises of men. Do we sing praises for the stars? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the wall so high, like the diamond in the sky. But you know, Your Highness, the stars do not start out seeking praises. They shine, and praises follow naturally. So you won't deliberately do things for people to praise you? It is not necessary, Your Highness. We should do things to touch lives, make impact, save humanity. What if no one recognizes this kindness? Your Highness, the God sees, and their praises and reward are far better than that of my men. Mm. Every servant I have met only talk and dream about freedom. But you sound very different. I also do dream of freedom, Your Highness. But you don't want physical freedom. You are already free. Freer than most freeborns I have met. Those words are way too kind, Your Highness. I appreciate them. Thank you so much. What is your name, maid? Amuche. Amuche. Amuche, you sound very brilliant. Thank you, Your Highness. I least expected you to be this brilliant. However, I was entertained. I should retire to my chambers. Thank you, Your Highness. It takes a brave heart to withstand the pressure, this pressure. Some people know how to handle difficulties more than others. Whoa. Mother, I am not the type to involve third parties in my relationship. But things are becoming unbearable. 
Good marriages don't come easy, my son. You both have to work for it. Mom, I'm trying. Mom, I am trying. What about her? What exactly has she done wrong? <sighs> Mom, she wouldn't go on any adventure with me. She doesn't spend time with me. She even moved out of my chambers. <laughs> Son, this girl is the Adese of Ibeme. She wasn't raised for adventure. <laughs> she can't follow you into the bush or into pig pens. <laughs> Look, I'm not against you, Weze. But you need to be patient enough to understand your wife. My point exactly, Mom. What's wrong with understanding me? I mean, she woke up one morning and boom, leaves my chambers without my knowledge. But we both know it's customary for women to take separate chambers in case other wives come in. <sighs> Your father and I just chose different. Mom, listen, you know me. I'm not ready to take another wife, okay? I want your type of marriage. I want even better. Then you must be patient enough to understand her. Find out what her hobbies are. Maybe you could get to spend quality time together. <laughs> Condescending to displaying beauty products, jewelries, even embroideries, huh? There lies the problem. You see her hobbies as petty. And maybe that's the same way she sees your hobbies. Perhaps you two could come to an agreement. Mom, the truth is, I really want this to work. And I'm ready to give it my best shot. <sighs> but somehow, I feel like a failure already. Oh, no. You're not a failure, my son. You will not fail. Just put in your best. And don't be afraid. I am glad to see who is passionate about something other than my wife. <laughs> Our son is becoming a man. Hitting the target two out of three times is no mean feat. I'm sure. Well, thanks, uh, the princess, Adiz. You know, marriage so have a way of uh, bringing out the best in the man. <laughs> I remember the showcases you put up after our marriage to impress your father. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. That was exactly what captivated your heart, isn't it? <laughs> my prowess on the horses and my shooting skills, huh? <laughs> it was. Uh, he's really the true son of his father. He takes after him in everything. It is my son. <laughs> ah, what a day. <laughs> a wonderful day. Without 
You promised to support me, but you never saw me get one shot right. My lord, it was too sunny. I just had to go use my sunscreen. <laughs> Is that even an excuse, Adesi? You were applying your sunscreen and dishing out orders to your mate every time I shot an arrow. My lord, I had no idea who would be made to sit under the scorching sun throughout the showcase. <sighs> Adeze, it is called an archery showcase. Were you expecting to watch the game through a tinted glass window? My lord, the people were watching. Whatever would they say if I appear before them with some bonds? Horrible. Horrible. Adeze, are you saying your loyalty lies with the people of Umucheze instead of me, your husband? My lord, father says a princess must. A princess must do what? You know what I think? I think your father has so much to say. Makes me wonder why you're married to me and not him. I wonder. Take your hands down now, okay? Your hands will be paining you now. Why are you acting as if you're the one serving this punishment? Go and sleep. If it were my punishment, I know definitely you would join me. So if you don't want to take your hands, then I'm going to join you. <laughs> okay, Toriba, who is deceiving this one? You must really think I love you so much. Okay? Hmm. I don't think so. I know you really do love I me. I don't love I you. I know you love me. I say. We'll save this punishment. I don't together. love you. I know you love me. Oh. Amuche. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Your Highness, I must commend you for your today's success. Put down your hands. Thank you, Your Highness. Amuche. Your Highness. Did that commendation come from a maid who is under my authority or an audacious archer? Your Highness, as a maid, I will rain more praises on you. As an experienced archer, I will only commend you as an excellent beginner. A beginner? Are you trying to say you're better than me? With all humility, yes, your highness, I'm more experienced and I wouldn't miss a shot. Interesting. You'll have to show me. When next are you going hunting? Me? Yes. Your highness, I don't hunt anymore. It's against the palace rules. It's a shame to let your talent go to waste, my dear. You have to come with me tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'd be attending to my duties. I'm not the maid assigned to you. Say it all. Chita. Fetch me the chief maid. I need to know why I don't have a say in the maid assigned to me. Yes, your majesty. So what is your advice? Do I dedicate tomorrow's prey to the elders in council? If I do that, they would sure talk about my archery skills. But your highness, the elders in council already have enough in their bands. I would suggest another recipient, but they wouldn't give praises. Hmm. Who? A few widows are the asketch of Omocheze, whose sons are too young to hunt. Amuche, you do have the people at heart. Do you know that? Would you take me there? Yes. With all pleasure, Your Highness. <laughs> so, my dear, you've been specially assigned to the prince now. Just like that. I'm as surprised as you are. And I thank the gods everything happened in your presence. Huh. Oh. I wish I were a hunter too. Imagine having the attention of the Prince of Umucheze. 
said that. Mm. But you mm. have a man. Ha. I'm not denying that fact now. Eh, my dear, you have to be very careful. I see the way Tamuno keeps her eyes on you. Ne, Habuna, that's pure jealousy. The only thing I owe myself is to do my work diligently. What have I done wrong by carrying out my work? Have I done anything wrong? You've not done anything wrong. will be alright, Biko. Okay, so let me ask you. What if the prince wants you to carry out other duties? Other duties like what? Do you know what I'm talking about now? I mean, the prince is a man with blood flowing through his veins. And you're a woman. Shh! Are you okay? Please don't say that. Oh. Do not instigate rumors. The war has yes. Please. My dear, it would be illogical not to contemplate it. I mean, he looks at you with admiration and awe. And remember, he will soon be a king. And so? And so, he will have as many wives as he wants. Hmm. Listen, he doesn't seem that shallow to me. He loves his wife. Mm -hmm. So you have observed him to that extent. Hey, hey, you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> no problem. My eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me retire to my room. Okay. I'm going to catch you later. Okay. All right. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? Greetings, Your Highness. Are you learned? Not quite. I just got basic education. You look very stiff. You're not flexible. Do you like standing? Why not sit? Hey, I'm sorry, Your Highness. I cannot sit. Please, the chief maid and others will frown at it, and I'll be punished severely. I'm sorry, I can't sit by your side, Your Highness. The chief maid you talk about seems to me like a terror to you. Is it just to you or to the others? Your Highness, I think she's doing her job. Would you advise her relieve her of her job since it's becoming uncomfortable for you and others? No, no, Your Highness. I'd rather have you rearrange her about human relationships. Did you say you're not learned? But you sound too intelligent not to be. So what if I say, take some advanced lessons with me? Would you like that? Me? Yes. You can read, can't you? Yes, Your Highness, I can read and write. All right then. Read that page. Okay. Kada was released without being charged or tried or fined. He never confessed to anything because he has because he had nothing to confess. Relieved that she had made it thus far into the story. Stay confident. <laughs> I told you marriage would change him. Since that day, he hasn't even complained about anything else. <laughs> He's a mature young man. I'm glad we were able to set an example for him. I'm so happy that Adeze has been such a blessing to him and to Umuchieze at large. She carries out her royal duties seamlessly. You can say that again. The Council of Elders are also commending her. I must tell you. <laughs> ah, speak of the angel herself. <laughs> Your Majesties. How are you doing, my dear? Wonderful, Your Majesty. Sit down. And how is your husband? I hope you've been finding enough time to be with him. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. I was with him last night. 
<laughs> you see, we are proud of you, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> So how much are we talking about? About, uh, what do you say, five thousand? Five thousand dollars. Dollars, yes. Is Amuche not back? Um, no, my prince. Uh, who stays in the market this long? My parents, the palace does purchase items in large quantities, and it's time-consuming. And why does she have to be the one to go? And who the hell sent her to the market without my content? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Take that away. <laughs> Show somebody back, Your Highness. Why am I so uneasy? Chima, have my personal maid serve that when she returns. Okay, Your Highness. I'm sure she'll soon be back. And why the hell am I so uneasy? Perhaps you've grown accustomed to the maid and she excites you. Yeah, that's true. She's quite exciting. She makes me feel like I can't do anything without her. Your Highness is happy at her presence and on ease at her absence. You're right, Chima. You've been very observant. She feels like a personal assistant. No offense to you, Chima. Your Highness only remembers her when it's with others and forgets about everyone when it's with her. That's true, Chima. I mean, um, she does have that effect to me. No lies. Your Highness forgets about everyone, including his wife, the princess. Of course. Hey, what are you driving at? 
Well, my prince, you're in love. No! In love? What do you mean I'm in love? In love with who? A maid? Are you out of your mind, Chima? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I stay faithful to the princess and to the princess alone. Chima. My prince. I don't know what you're driving at. But if you say that to me one more time, you'll have me to contend with. Amuche should be confined in her quarters. I don't want to set eyes on her again. I repeat, I don't want to set eyes on her again. Yes, Your Highness. Understood? Yes, Your Highness. We live for the people and not for ourselves. <laughs> 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 I knew that your deceitful charm would inspire. You thought your favor with the prince would last, didn't you? I don't understand. I've not done anything wrong. Your entire existence is a crime! You insolent brat. You are to be confined in your quarters until further notice. What? Why? <laughs> you may wish to ask. But before then, you will have to pass all the guards stationed outside your door. With due respect, Tamunam, I demand to know why I'm being confined. You demand! <laughs> You demand! Now that is your problem! You, you think you are a freeborn. Who is a maid? A common maid? Ordinary maid? Who are you to make any demand? Everybody have the right to demand for an explanation when treated unjustly. <laughs> <laughs> The clown thinks she is an artist. Your confinement is a royal order. Dear me, and watch me exhaust the strength of my whip on your ugly looking tired face. Fool. She's to be confined and not bullied for having found favor with you. Excuse me? I heard you. Did you offend the prince? Of course not. See, I don't even understand what is going on, but I can't trust Tamuno. I need to speak with the prince. Oh God. I don't want to get into trouble in this palace. What is all this? She might not be one of your favorites. Keep your hands off her. My subordinates, am I to discipline? No. Every maid belongs to the royal family. 
not you. But I have the authority of the royal family to carry out my duties. Yes, I do. I believe you're wise and witty, irrespective of the position given to you. That made is found favorable to us. Do not compromise your position out of jealousy. What? Jealousy? You may be the prince's right hand man, but I will not have you insult or belittle me. No, I will not! Keep your voice down, or others will get a wind of your jealousy. Your prestigious self would not want to hear the rumors now. Will you? Stay the hell away from me. Stay away from me. Sorry to start you, Your Highness. What are you doing here and how did you get it? I don't know what Stamnoy is rambling on about a confinement. See, let me tell you. I have knitted the scarf. You need to see it. Very neat. I am getting better at my skill. In fact, let me hey. bring it. How did you leave your quarters? Your Highness, you should know a hundred guards are no match for me. Just push. Your Highness, is there any problem? Because the way you're acting, somebody would feel you are avoiding me. And why do you feel so important that you can't be avoided? Um, Your Highness, please, I want to know. Did you order the confinement? Put your eyes down when you speak to me. Maid. Now listen and listen good. You should know your place and obey orders around here. Leave my sight, maid. Hey, halt. This palace is premised on hierarchy, order, and structure. Double cross my guards one more time, and I'll have you whipped publicly. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to leave. I'll leave you made. Thank you. Am I doing the right thing? Yes, I'm doing the right thing. I must keep to my words to honor my marriage. Tightly. Uh, what? Oh, my earrings. Your earrings? 
Oh, father got them from the best jeweler overseas. Oh, you did? Oh. Oh, yeah, you. Thank the gods, I found them. If I had lost them, I don't know what I would have done. Oh. Oh. My lord, is everything all right? Is the kingdom in trouble? Our positions threatened. Should I call father for help? My lord. Our kingdom is not threatened. <sighs> and I can take care of it myself. Yeah, you should. For all our sakes, we must maintain our image before the people. Okay? I want to believe you're fine. Of course, my lord. I'm absolutely beautiful. You need not worry about me. Oh, please, do tend to the affairs of the people. I'll take my leave. Okay. My lord, father says, tears makes a man appear weak. I'll keep that in mind. Oh. Yeah. Oh.
This is hand of God. Jubune meye tuwe. Oduke ti yobuwe meyo. Have you ever experienced someone being happy because of you? Onema. It is amazing feeling. Onema godini yo. Amuche umamu. You are fun forever. Onema uche chukuwe. My parents, with all due respect, I don't think this is the best way to handle this situation. What do you have me do? Break my word for my wife? My parents, you're not just a freeborn, but a blue blood. You have the power to do and undo. My parents, you even have the power to marry as many wives as you choose. I have no desire for polygamy, Chima. My parents, you're so deep in love. <laughs> now, are you going to forget about your obligations to the people just because of what you're going through? And my parents, how long is this going to continue? Chima, I once used to think love as something beautiful. But right now I feel like I've been cursed by the gods. My parents, love has always been a blessing. Mm. Blessing. Blessing? Chima, so tell me, you speak like you have got a lot of experience. So, what advice can you offer me? My prince, no one can make a decision for you. I've always known you to lead and act from your heart. My prince, what does your heart desire? You want to know? Yes, my prince. Amuche. Regardless of what the royal family or what the people will say. Chima. You have to know one thing. I am willing to let go. To forfeit. To ignore the crown. For her sake. Yes. Without any regrets. I can do that. That is the answer, my price. That is it. But come to think of it. What makes us think she feels the same way? My price. You're the prince of Umuchese. No maiden will reject you. Every maiden wants to have you. So she doesn't have a choice. Mm. Chima. I do not want to command her love. 
I want it given freely. Freely. Then there's only one way to find out. Mm -hmm. Chima. Have her resume her duties. That's an order. Yes, my press. More. What's my, my press? That's an order. Are you upset with me? I'm always happy to serve you, Your Highness. Okay, I command you to stop being formal with me. Okay? Listen. I apologize for last time. I didn't mean that. Are you still mad at me? Your Highness, I'm just an ordinary maid and I have no right to be mad at you. Excuse me, Your Highness. Your Highness, please permit me to attend to my duty. Your Highness, I command you to stop. Your Highness, I apologize. I shouldn't have treated you the way I did. You don't have to, Your Highness. Even if at all, not to a common maid like me. We both know you don't believe that. You're just upset. I have no right to be upset with you, Your Highness. I'm just a common palace maid. Please forgive me. Your Highness, please. Please, Your Highness, what if someone sees you like this? Please, they'll have me beheaded. You can't kneel for a commoner like me. Please, Your Highness. This this is like an abomination, please. Let it be known! Henceforth, I denounce royalty! I am no longer the prince of Umuchezia kingdom! I am the man who fell in love with an extraordinary woman. Please, please stand up, Your Highness. Please, 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 please. This will be death sentence for me, Your Highness. You can't do this. Amuche, I've been fighting it. I have fought it with every strength in me. But here we are. Your Highness, this will be death sentence, like I said. Does it mean you feel the same way for me? Amuche, if we are united, Nothing seems impossible. I do not want to be the reason why your heart is broken. God. 
The entire Umuchese will spit on me for loving you. And if they find out I feel the same way, would they still spit at you? Would they spit at the one I love? The one I chose? The proposed irrigation plan would benefit the noble man, the common man in Umuchese. Farmers can now grow crops and have enough to supply to the people. And? And what? How does it benefit non-farmers? Good question. Non-farmers can now buy crops at a very cheap price. Impressive. <laughs> I'm ready to blow their minds. What if they disagree? Disagree, you say? Who dare disagrees with the prince? I'll remind them I'm the prince of Umucheze. Yes. What have I said? I'm surprised. That's not the best approach, Your Highness. Hmm. You have to be more diplomatic. You don't lord ideas over your subjects. All right, so tell me what to do. Appear more confident and assertive. You have to convince yourself before you can convince someone else. Hmm. It starts with you. Hmm. Convince yourself before you can convince someone else. And what if they disagree? Ask for their ideas. I'm sure from there you'll get more insights. Hmm. More insight? What if they still disagree? Do I remind you that some of the elders in council can be very, very difficult? Then take a vote. I'm sure there will be more reasonable people than clowns. You see, I find you very brilliant. Come. What would I have done without you? Your Majesty. Oh, son. What troubles you, Father? Oh, nothing. It's just the minor matters here and there. Father, a problem shared is half solved. It's just that uh, we have a uh, proposal to consider. But it looks like it's a double edged sound. Hmm. Sounds harmful and beneficial at the same time. Exactly. A foreign body uh, has just sent a proposal to build the university in Umuchese. That's good news, Father. But an indigen has also submitted a proposal for the same purpose. Hmm.
we must give priority to our kinsman, Father. Exactly my thought, son. But after a careful examination on the proposal, the proposal shows that if we go by the indigent, then our people will have to pay twice what they would pay if we prefer the foreign. Do I prioritize my own kinsmen and have the people pay the price? I mean, it is honorable to hear that uh, an indigent is building a university in Omochism. But the common man may not be able to afford it, Father. Exactly. However, the reverse is the case for the foreigner. Father, this is a decision that affects everyone. I mean, they'll be happy to hear that an indigent owns a university, but happier if it's affordable. Exactly. I suggest you let them decide. Yes, Father. We must reach a consensus through the votes of the people. Let them decide, Father. Brilliant solution, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I should have thought of that. Lest I forget, um, your proposal has been approved. Your proposal for the subsidized uh, irrigation has been approved, and the, the elders in council are so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Uh -huh. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Sorry, your Highness. Mm. The physician said I'll be fine. Your Highness, the fever is high. I, I wonder why you're still complaining of cold. What? That's why you have to come close to me. Your body might out my cold. No, stop, yeah. stop, stop, stop. No, stop, stop. Yes. Oh. The king and the majesty are their way. Oh. Your Highness, what if that was someone else? And I would have pronounced my love for you. Oh my dear! Your majesty. We got word that the fever still hasn't abated. Mom, I'll be fine. Sorry. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, man. Why is Adesa not here? Um, she's probably attending to one royal duty or the other. I'm in good hands. Tending to you should be a top priority right now. I'm in good hands, but I'll be fine. Obim, please go ahead without me. Let me stay with him. No, 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 Mom. There's no point for that. I insist. Mom, that's okay. I said I am in good hands. Obim. He has just said that he is in good hands. So let him be. Let's go. Which is bothering my king? <laughs> Affairs of the state? Surprisingly not. It's about our son. He wears it. What did he do wrong? He's doing everything right. <laughs> it's marriage. This is the best decision we took for our son. 
I think I will move his coronation forward and step back as a king. Really? You're that impressed by him? Words are not enough to express how much I'm proud of him. He has demonstrated a distinct ability of shouldering responsibilities, and I'm proud of that. And you believe he can be trusted? Yes, I believe he will not let us down. Hmm. Then you have my support. I will speak with the council elders to start the preparations. If a baby go <laughs> Other maids are working. And you are here slacking. Are you here to beautify yourselves or to work? But there's no law prohibiting hairdressing in the palace. And you have no initiative to take care of all the important matters instead of gossiping. We have finished the chores assigned to us. Are you trying to lecture me on the palace laws now? I'm trying to let you know we haven't done any- ah! 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 Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, it was not intentional. It was not meant for you. The whip was not meant for you. It was meant for her. Please, Your Highness, please forgive me. Please, I am so sorry. Please. Chima, Your Highness. What is the punishment for this mistake? Your Highness, imprisonment and death is the punishment for anyone who causes any harm to the royal blood. Please forgive me. It was not intentional. Have mercy upon me, please. Your Highness, please forgive her. Even though she's wicked. I want her to get a dose of her own medicine. Amuche, Your Highness. pick up the whip. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Your Highness. It's against the rule of this kingdom for a subordinate to discipline a superior. Is that so? His Majesty will not be happy with it. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, Your Highness, yes! Amuche, pick up the whip and give it to Chima. Hey! Pick it up and give it to him! <laughs> your, your Highness, please, I am so sorry. It was not intentional, Your Highness. Chima, I'm sure you know the consequences of disobeying royal orders. Yes, Your Highness. No, do you do! Your Highness, mercy. I plead for mercy. Please, please, oh, please. Sorry. Ow. I'd like a word with you, Father. His name? Yes, Father. Your mother will see you there. Well, that's great. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I thought the meeting would never end. Did you miss me that much? <laughs> of course. I look forward to when this your meetings can be suspended for one month so I can get my husband to myself. Even one month will be enough. <laughs> ah, Prince, you're still here. You said you want to have a word with me. Sit down. Okay. Uh, Father, it is an important discussion and I would like to make it known to everyone that I have thought about it thoroughly and I'm absolutely convinced. Father, I have decided to put away Adeze. I am no longer interested to be with her. Are you insane? This must be a joke. One. So, why this sudden change of heart? Do you know what you're saying? I am beyond convinced, my king. Who is the harlot that has turned your heart against your wife? Who is she? Mother, no one turned my heart away. It is true that I love another woman, but Adeze has never been my wife. Oh, so you admit that there's another woman? I said, who is she? Son, who is the one that has stolen your heart? Would you respect my king? She's a commoner. A maid in this palace. Her name is Amuche. 
you would put away the abyss of Ibeme for a common maid? My enemies, they will throw parties to mock me. So, I've been commending your maturity, otherwise, you're still a child at heart. This is not how things are done. At all! Can you imagine what the Premier will do when they find out we, we sent their princess away to bring in a maid? Your foolish love will drive us to the brink of war! So, this marriage sealed their troops. You cannot break it. Father, there are loopholes in every law and in every truce. But I shall find my way. You lie. Adese is your wife and she will remain in this palace. I disagree with you, mother. I will not stay married to Adese. She can stay in this palace and become the minister of the people's affairs. Certainly not my wife. Your Majesty. You better not let Adesa hear of this foolishness and inform her father. Can you imagine this? They have cast a spell on him. What is this foolishness? Oh, Bim, say something. What more do you want me to say? This is not the kind of time that this kind of thing can happen. Adesa has been unwell of recent. And the maids gossip that she has been missing her monthly flow. She might be pregnant. Is he, is he always aware of this? The foolish child is not aware. 